Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. When you hear of the term, the transference of wealth, what does it make you think about? When you think about riches and wealth, are you thinking about earthly wealth, earthly riches, or heavenly wealth, heavenly riches? For when we have Christ Jesus in our lives, when we have received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour, we are rich beyond our wildest dreams. We have heavenly wealth, heavenly riches. We know where our eternal home is. But what about those who cherish earthly wealth, earthly finances, earthly possessions, more than their heavenly wealth? Well, what the Lord is beginning to do Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As I look at as I look at a number plate in front of me, WV22 ZZJ2222 Isaiah 2222, I will give you the keys to the house of David, the highest room in the royal court. You will open doors that no man can shut. You will close doors that no man can open. Not long ago, as I was sat here on this Morrison's car park, a, a man pulled up just in front of me in a very posh a very expensive car he's likely got quite a lot of money i didn't know anything about him but the lord asked me to go over to him to tell him that he is loved that he is chosen and when i went over to him he was happy to talk and he, he believed a bit in jesus and i said could i pray for you and he said yeah certainly he said please could you pray for my mother-in-law julia she's she's very poorly at the moment i said absolutely i prayed i prayed for dave and i prayed for julia I spoke into Dave's life. I declared and decreed that Dave and his whole family have been chosen to be like me, disciples of Jesus. Now, when it comes to the transference of wealth, when we have the revelation of Jesus Christ, when we know that every good gift and every perfect gift come down from the Father, when we comprehend and realize that everything that we have to our name, everything, every bit of wealth that we may have, every, every possession, every fancy car, every posh home, every, every fancy iPhone, every, every bit of, of material physical wealth, we have that because, of, because God has blessed us. He has blessed us through our entire lives. He has given us giftings and talents that have allowed us to make that kind of money, to earn that kind of money, just like the money that I used to earn and the money, the, the, the material, physical wealth that I used to have and the home I used to have and the cars I used to drive. So the transference of wealth. Imagine for a few moments, Dave, suddenly having the total revelation of Jesus Christ, suddenly comprehending that he is a child of God, suddenly comprehending that he's been called by name to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Suddenly he will start to hear from the Lord and the Lord will speak to him to say that your wealth, your material possessions are mine. And I am going to be telling you what to do with your wealth, with your money, because you have been storing up my money in your bank account. You have been using your money on your home, on your cars, on your fancy restaurants, on your fancy holidays. Oh, oh, glory, praise and honour to God Almighty for the transference of wealth. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Just as I said those words then, the time went to three minutes, 33 seconds. Jeremiah 33, verse three. Call on me and I will answer. Ask me and I will tell you great and marvelous things, secrets you do not know. My beloved brothers and sisters, you have been called by name from your mother's womb to be disciples of Jesus Christ. Agape Paul.